Welcome to our lecture online and here we're asked to apply what we've learned so far to try and prove this. Now, you don't always set off in the right direction, so let me show you what my initial inclination might be. Here we have the tangent of the difference of two angles. I go, oh, I know a formula for that. I can say that the tangent of um, A minus B is equal to the tangent of A minus the tangent of B divided by 1 plus the tangent of A times the tangent of B. And so if A is pi over 2, I can then say that the tangent of pi over 2 minus B can then in the very same way be written in the following way. We can say, well, that's equal to the tangent of pi over 2 minus the tangent of B divided by 1 plus the tangent of pi over 2 times the tangent of b. Now be careful here, what is the tangent of pi over 2? Remember that the tangent of pi over 2 is equal to the sine of pi over 2 divided by the cosine of pi over 2. And of course the sine of pi over 2 that's equal to 1 and the cosine of pi over 2 is equal to 0 which means it's undefined. So this way we can prove that. So that happens sometimes. Don't be discouraged. Say, well, there's got to be another way. So maybe what we can do here is convert the tangent to the sine divided by the cosine. So let's try that. So this is equal to the sine of pi over 2 minus b divided by the cosine of pi over 2 minus b. And if we do that, then we simply use the, uh, the difference of two angles for the sine and the cosine. So this can be written as the sine of the first angle times the cosine of the second angle, and if we have a minus there, it becomes minus the cosine of the first angle times the sine of the second angle, and the whole thing divided by, so here we have the cosine of the first angle times the cosine of the second angle, and if this is minus, this becomes plus the sine of the first angle times the sine of the second angle, and then we simplify as much as we can. The sine of pi over 2 is 1, so that's 1 times the cosine of b, cosine of b, minus the cosine of pi over 2 is 0, divided by the cosine of pi over 2 is 0, plus the sine of pi over 2 is 1, so 1 times the sine of b, which means this is equal to the cosine of b divided by the sine of b, which can then be written as the cotangent of b. And that's what we had over there, and so we've proven that the tangent of pi over 2 minus b is equal to the cotangent of b. And that's how we do that.